What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another figure review. Today we are looking at the uh, Halo Dark Horse uh, UNSC Vulture 6 inch replica. Um, I'm not the biggest uh, Halo fan uh, in terms of the video game. I'm not a big video game person, but I do like uh, some of the Halo ship designs, the look of Master Chief, uh, you know, the technology of Halo. Um, and I really am a big fan of the Halo Dark Horse line. Um, I have uh, the, I think it's the Pelican, their drop ship, which I really like a lot. Then I have one of their bigger uh, capital ships. I forget the name of that one. Uh, so I'm a big fan of this line. Uh, any any sort of uh, sci-fi, uh, space marine, you know, military stuff, I'm a big fan of. So this is the latest uh, figure, or I should say die-cast model in the uh, Dark Horse line. So let's take a look. As far as the packaging, we just have the uh, Halo Halo UNSC Vulture 6-inch replica. On the side, we have a picture of whatever this guy is. Um, this side, we have the picture of the die-cast model, and the limited edition of 2000, and then another image of the model there. And then on the side, we just have a uh, side view and a back view. I believe uh, when you look up this on Wikipedia or the Halo Wikipedia, this is similar to, it, it's called the Vulture AC-230, something like that. So it's basically, you know, the future version of the AC-130 gunship plane that we have uh, today. So this is more the futuristic version of that. And I have to say, I do like the design a lot. Um, at Comic-Con, they had a red version, which I saw on eBay, but I did not like the look of that. I much prefer the kind of olive drab, you know, military green kind of look here. Uh, so I passed on the Comic-Con exclusive. But just taking a look at the vehicle, um, there's some very nice paintwork with the cockpit with this blue uh, tinted uh, windshield there. And then we have the cool, uh, almost would it be maybe air intakes. And then the, uh, the paintwork is real clean with this white lines right here. And then taking a look at the side, these apparently are all uh, uh, rocket launchers. So warheads come out of here kind of up uh, that way. So that's pretty cool. So all the missile bays or missile silos are nicely painted. So that's very cool. Then we have some more uh, rocket launchers on the back. And then you can kind of see that they painted the tips of the rockets or the warheads. Uh, in a nice kind of uh, yellowish uh, paint. Uh, my camera can't zoom in or focus that well, but you can see that's nicely detailed. Then we have a uh, little white design, triangle design there, which looks real nice. So all the paint works real clean on this one. And again, this is fully die cast model, which I like. Um, taking a look at the, uh, the back, we have these kind of uh, tail fins that come out to the side, and then the underside uh, there is, there's the two engines right there, so you have, uh, looks like four thrusters there and whatever this back part is. Um, the underside, you just have some, I would assume maybe those are lights there, the square. Again, I'm not real familiar with the uh, Halo games, I just like the, the looks of the vehicles and some of the weapons. Um, the front, again, on this side, I like the, uh, UNSC logo that's real nice and clean there and then we have these kind of uh, white boxes there whatever that means the very front end we get two big uh, I think they're auto cannons is what the halo uh, Wikipedia says and the gun is nicely designed I really like the look of that so you get two big barrels uh, both on each side so that's very cool then the underside here, you have more of that white paint, those two arrows there, uh, then going up into the cockpit. It does come with a display base. This UNSC logo is a little different than the uh, Pelican model and the capital ship that I have. So I believe this is from the Halo Wars video game. I think that's like a real-time strategy game. Uh, so maybe this is earlier, uh, or this, this ship is before the Pelican and the capital ship that I have. Um, I don't know though, so if anyone knows, uh, just leave a comment there. So again, here's a real quick, if my camera will focus here, come on. 
sorry guys, for whatever reason, this camera will not focus well. There we go. Um, here's just a quick 360 of the model. So like I said, I really like this one a lot. I still think that the, uh, the Pelican is probably my favorite from the Halo design. Um, I really like the Halo, uh, the dropship a lot. The Pelican model that they did is very cool. So that was still my favorite one, but this is definitely worth picking up. The only problem I have with the Halo Dark Horse line uh, is that it's a little pricey. So I hope that I hope they keep making them because again, I'm a big fan of six-inch scale vehicles, whether that's modern day, sci-fi, whatever. So I'm a big fan of the Cinemachines NECA line. Big fan of the Halo Dark Horse line. Uh, so I really hope that they continue this line. I just hope that the uh, hopefully the price point goes down. So hope everyone liked the video and thanks a lot for watching.